Welcome back. You know, if you're thinking about buying a house, it's important to be prepared before you even start searching, you know, knowing your credit score, getting that pre-approval letter from your mortgage lender, maybe deciding which home features you are and maybe aren't willing to compromise on. Deidre Davis, MSU FCU Chief Marketing Officer, joining us to share a few things to consider before you start searching for that dream home. Deidre, thanks for joining us. Certainly, thank you for having me. Absolutely, it's great, great to see you again. What are some of those home buying expenses that people should be saving for besides that down payment? Well, I was going to say the first expense that they should save for is a down payment, yeah. <laughs> which is a percentage of the purchase price that most lenders will require and it helps to reduce the amount that people need to borrow. So that's number one. And then they should also consider property taxes that will be associated with the uh, mortgage payment because again, it will be part of the mortgage payment. So think about what the taxes are in the areas you're looking. And then also there could be costs for inspections as well as costs that are associated with current living arrangements. So that could be, maybe you need to sell your current home or you need to end an apartment lease. And then of course there's moving costs. You know, Deidre, the past year has just been really kind of unique uh, on how crazy the market is with these cash offers and tens of thousands over asking. So how important is it really to, for that pre-approval letter or that home inspection? I mean, people are writing off a lot of things just to get that house. Right. So both are very, very important. And so we would definitely recommend that you um, get both, both a home inspection and pre-approval. So that pre-approval letter that you mentioned, that helps indicate to those sellers how much you're approved for. And it helps you set your budget so that you're not looking at homes that are over what you can actually afford to spend. And it shows that seller that you're a really serious buyer. So when you're negotiating in that competitive market, you will have an edge because you've already been pre-approved. And then that home inspection helps you to find small items that maybe you can negotiate with the seller about and also can help you identify larger issues that could really be deal breakers. So think of structural issues, things like that. And you want to, during the process, work with your real estate agent to help determine what is realistic to ask the seller to repair. And then also in regards to those structural or safety issues, it's so vital to know about those number one, and then to negotiate with the seller to either make repairs or you might have to walk away because you don't want to face necessary and expensive repairs once you move in. Absolutely, that home inspection, not something you wanna pass on. Boy, you wouldn't, wouldn't wanna buy that house and find out all those things after the fact. What about, you mentioned real estate agents. What should you be looking for in a real estate agent or a lender? Yeah. Sure. So it's really important that you are comfortable with the individual you'll be working with. So home purchases are some of the largest purchases that any of us will make. And so um, sit down with a couple of those real estate agents and get a feel for them. They should ask you questions about what you're looking for, what's important to you, so that you really understand that they understand what you're looking for. And the same is true for a lender. You want to sit down with them make sure they're asking questions so that they can help you determine what the best type of mortgage is to fit your needs, your lifestyle, and your budget. And what, now, when it comes to that list of must-haves, uh, things that people say, we have to have this style of house, or we have to have this in our house. At one point, I think a swimming pool was on my list of what I thought was a must-have. What about compromising <laughs> on that list? Yeah, so, so it is something that can be kind of eye-opening for, for home shoppers and especially first-time home shoppers that they might have to change their mind about some of those things that, like your pool, were, you know, must-haves, and maybe they're not as important at when you're actually searching. So be prepared to reprioritize some of your items. If there are non-negotiable items, you might end up having to wait until you can either find what you're looking for or that you can afford what you're looking for. So keep that in the back of your mind and what is truly non-negotiable. And then think about some things <clears throat> that are needing change maybe like paint colors or light pictures. Don't let those be stoppers in the process because they're so easy and generally speaking, inexpensive to change. And of course, we're gonna want, <clears throat> excuse me, to get lending for this. How can MSU FCU help? Yeah, well, of course, we offer a wide range of mortgage products. We offer a really great first-time homebuyer program, conventional adjustable rate mortgages. And then we also offer mortgage lending in 12 different states. So if you're looking for maybe a second home, be sure to reach out to the credit union so we can help you through the process and get you pre-approved. Perfect, Deidre. Thank you so much for the time.
Thank you. You bet. You want to learn more? Pretty simple. Just head to msufcu.org.